What are the challenges that you have in your life right now? Is there some area that needs healing? Do you have a broken heart that needs comfort, that needs peace? Has someone passed away, for instance, or maybe a job has ended? Maybe a loved one from the pandemic, who knows? Maybe there's something in your life that feels broken or you feel empty in some way. I just want to assure you right now, that presence, God's law of adjustment, divine order, is seeking to bring you peace, is seeking to resolve that situation in your life, is seeking to establish some kind of harmony in your life right now. And you know what's amazing is when we have a big problem in our life or some challenge that we're facing, it's almost like we feel more intimate with that presence. It's almost like there's a special force field that's at work in that particular area of our life. It reminds me of the parable of the 99. That parable says that it's about the shepherd. When when one of the sheep is lost, that shepherd is not worried about the 99. It goes after that one lost sheep. And it says that, you know, it doesn't want the least of these to perish. It cares about that one. And guess what? When we and our challenges that we face in our life, the universe cares. It cares about that area of your life. It cares about you. It cares and it's, it's seeking to come forth in your life as a healing force. It's sort of like the body, you know, when the body marshals all its forces, when there's a problem in the body, if there's an infection in the foot, what happens? It sends antibodies to help repair that foot. If there's a broken limb, what happens? The body marshals all of its forces to their swelling. It creates a a natural stent. The body goes to heal itself. That's the natural way of the body if we don't make it too difficult. See, that's the key. It's always working. But the question is, are, are we in tune with it? Or are we frustrating it? Do we frustrate it with anger, bitterness, resentment? Do we frustrate it with anxieties and worries? Of course, we all have those probably every day, some moment of the day, but I'm talking about dwelling in it, making it a habit. You see, that's where we can frustrate it. That's where we can make it, get ourselves out of tune with it. See, prayer doesn't make this law of adjustment work. Prayer doesn't make divine order. Prayer helps us get in tune with it. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos and content every week to inspire and empower you on your spiritual journey. We look forward to seeing you again soon.